At the top of the video, you see that we have the frame timing data for the GPU. A red line will appear when the system enters into interleave reprojection. When the GPU can't handle the required 90 frames per second, it'll drop down to 45 frames per second and double the frame rate. Interleave reprojection will calculate head movement, but it won't compensate for positional data. What that basically means is if you're moving your head around, it'll match your head movements, but if you're moving your whole body, changing your position, it can't compensate for that. So interleave reprojection is not a problem if you're standing still and just moving your head around, like in shoot up games but in the game where, where you're actually moving around a lot you will notice some stuttering if your system is in interleave reprojection. If you have a graphics card that supports it, asynchronous reprojection picks up the previous rendered frame and reprojects it compensating for positional data. This provides a much smoother experience than interleave reprojection. Asynchronous reprojection also produces a red line in the GPU graph, but will mirror a white line in the CPU graph to demonstrate that it is asynchronous and not interleave reprojection. The bluey purple part of the graph represents the time spent by the application. This is also split into two parts other and seen. The seen portion is the amount of work performed between when wait get posses returns and the second eye texture is submitted. If you're using interleave reprojection and not asynchronous reprojection, when you see this section of the graph go over the top of the scale at 14 milliseconds, the GPU then drops frames to compensate to allow it to catch back up. The khaki green section of the graph, labelled other, represents the rendered time for the companion window. The companion window is what we use to record the game footage for this video. The companion window is rendered after the main HUD footage is rendered. For the frame timing data, lower is always better.